Hey guys, it's Born a Brawler here, back with day 12 of our Pokemon TCG Pocket journey. And so today, for our tradition, I did want to show off another new card from the collection. I have this Shaman EX. Uh, again, you're not going to be able to see it super well, so again, I'll play it right over here. Um, this is from the, I believe it's Celebrations ETB. Um, not really a card that I kind of expect to be as part of, you know, the, the celebrations with all the starters and stuff. But, I mean, the card art is ridiculously cute. Shaman Sky Form is also cool as well, which is uh, part of the reason why I saw it last video. So, uh, you got a double dosage there. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started today and we're going to get back to our pack openings and stuff. One thing you may notice here is I am a little bit early when it comes to uh, opening my second pack for the day. I am actually going to have something later this afternoon and so I will go ahead and use just one of my hourglasses, speed that up. That way we can get this out of the way. But start with this Mewtwo pack first. Um, scroll over here to the left and stop on this one. How about that? Double, that is new. Raticate, Porygon. Look at the top of your deck, that's interesting. Dratini and Aerodactyl. Okay. I think Aerodactyl's super cool. It's just, I think that, uh, you know, you'll need that old Amber first. Also, that, <laughs> that effect of the move seemed pretty ridiculous. Now we are at 100 different cards, so I think we will have the opportunity to use that. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to our Charizard pack, I believe. Uh, actually, I will need to go ahead and submit the Hourglass. There we go. The UI is super easy for that. I just, for some reason, keep forgetting that that's all you gotta do is just click to open a pack. All right, we're gonna go two over here and then slice slice this one open really good at failing so that's another executor ex that we have it's just starting out that's really really good cottony mawile radicate and a look at all right so i think that was one new card yeah with some of those i do actually feel a little bit more confident if we were to make a grass type so not too too much to complain about there gonna go to the home and then I will go to Wonder Pick right here. See what we got today. We've got three so if there was an exceptionally rare card I was looking at I could do that. There's a Mewtwo EX if we want to go after it. Squirtle art card. The Meowth art card that we have. Pikachu EX. Some pretty okay stuff here. See a Cubone if we wanted to re-roll that. Alakazam if we wanted to re-roll that. Mm, give me one second, I'll figure out what we're going to look at. I think this will be one of the first times we use our timer here. Um, I just still am really interested in this Alakazam card. It just seems to have a very good attack just for a Stage 2 Pokemon. Um, the only bad thing is, is there are a couple of cards we could hit here which would be unfortunate. Snom would be about the second best just because it's a card we don't have. But, always gotta take your chances. And I think we had a couple of those timers to use, so shouldn't be too bad since it should be maybe just the first or the second one we'll be doing. Um, go with top right. Hit go lurk. Good thing is, is, I think that it is only the second card we've gotten for that, so if we did want to run all of those, we could. Go ahead and send that thanks. Go ahead and take a look at our missions. We can go ahead and complete all here. Get hourglasses, so we get the four. Go to the decks, and we've got ten more of these, uh, like, emblem tokens. Is that what they're called? Emblem tickets. And we get to go to the shop. Go ahead and redeem some. So yeah, once a day you're getting not only one of the hourglasses for the wonder pick, but you're also getting a ticket which you could redeem for these others, which is cool. So we've done a pretty decent job. We've got the Nitto Queen and Nitto King deck. I'm gonna cut away here for just a little bit. Um, if I come straight back, it'll be just to fight the deck, but I might see if I can 
make something more akin to the graph stack now. So I came to the realization that we do not happen to have a execute at all to even use those two executory eggs we have. So we're just gonna have to keep on with this for the moment. Um, good news is, is, again, using the fighting deck we've already got prepared, this will at least be a little bit more in our favor. And we opened pretty wicked. Um, this is actually an incredibly good hand. The reason why I say that is because we have a bunch of trainers just ready to use here. Kind of build up our hand very quickly. We're going to just opt not to put that Hitmonchan down, work with what we got at the moment. They also happen to start with Professor's Research. Oh no, it hit two? Okay, that was not good at all. Um, I think I will need to put this Hitmonchan down on the off chance that this one ends up getting KO'd. Because this is actually not something really out of the realm of possibility for us to, to KO here. We just need to get hit by one less of those Dizzy Punches to be kind of in a safer spot. Start with a Pokeball here this turn. You need to be using a potion. Okay. Okay. Did miss both of those, which is good for us. Question is. I think I actually will use this X speed just to get this Hitmonchan out of harm's way. We'll send in our other one. Because no matter what, their Digipunch won't be able to KO this Hitmonchan this turn. Tauros is a little bit concerning, but we should be okay here. Oh my gosh, I landed on its side. Opponent seems to be getting some pretty high rolls here. Okay, I think we'll need to put in Sand Slash. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right. Go ahead and hit it up with Hitmonchan. Setting up Tauros, that makes sense. Did actually happen to get the Nitto Queen involved here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Sabrina here and threaten a knockout on either one of the smaller Pokemon or whittle down the Nidoqueen. Because I don't think Nidoqueen will be able to KO me in one hit, is that right? 50 more damage for each of you? Yeah, no. We shouldn't have to worry about that for a couple turns at the bare minimum. So we're going to go ahead and Sabrina. Did go ahead and put up the Nidoran. And we may have to rely on Marowak EX to hit at least one good attack here. Use X speed, really? Okay, I think the hunter just did that because that was something they could do. <laughs> All right, um... Yeah, I think Marowak EX is, this, despite having the luck factor to it, is probably the one Pokemon that will be able to threaten the most against our opponent. So we'll be able to live this. And that should be it. Unless I am miscounting, I do see our two points down here. Hit him with a slash. 
what is a queen without the king? Probably just ran one of each, and so that's why they weren't able to find it. But hey, all good with us. I was about to say, we actually should get a good few of our challenges done there. We were just shy of the 100. I think we would have had to specifically use Murawak EX if we wanted to complete that one. So we're actually done with the advanced trials here, and now we just have our experts. Go ahead and switch to our Charizard rental deck. Let's see what we can do. Win this battle with a deck of Pokemon, their only fighting type. Wow, they just said, all right, we need you to we need you to put on a handicap. All the Pokemon are of single rarity, rarity, triple rarity, turn 12, it's a little faster. 15k or more damage. I guess that's just going to be cumulative, because I do not know how you would do that all in one game. Also, starting with Moltres again here. Somehow we did happen to keep hitting Moltres, which is not amazing. King is gone is a little scary here. Won't be able to attack this turn at least. Let's see what we can find. Tremeleon and Rattata. We need a Charmander there. I guess I'll go ahead and put Tony Ta on the bench. Do a measly 20 here. Already getting Ivy's for two. That is not good for us. Okay. So even if they hit one coin, we'd live. Hit none. Yeah, despite Kangaskhan just being a pretty cool Pokemon, in my opinion, I, unfortunately, that is pretty much the ride or die for these coin flips. But good news for them, we're doing a heck of a lot of nothing right now. If we saw, um, if we saw Rapidash, we probably would have had more opportunities to KO here. And they hit both. That's really unfortunate. Okay, um, wow. Uh, that's, that's very rough. I guess put up Moltres just because we know we'll be able to live a turn. Not a single Charmander yet? Oof. This is very bad. That hit one. I can miss both. The only problem is, is we may also may be running into that issue ourselves here in just a second. Slant it is fine enough, I suppose. Alright. Brage. Okay. Flipping the coin, doing good enough for us here. Now we gotta deal with this Venusaur EX though. Yeah, it is incredibly tragic that we are not able to get our big guy yet, because what we need is a Charmander. Oh boy, alright! I guess I'll attach the Ponyta. I don't know. Really need to hit this HUDs and nothing. Okay! Big 100 is definitely going to KO us here. I'd say if we don't see um, any of our evolutions here, I think it's just over. I mean, it's probably over now. Uh, sell Rapidash, but there's no resistance in this game. Yeah, we can just go ahead and concede. All we needed to find was a single Charmander. That was it. Give it one more go.
Going first this time. Still not really sure how much I like that. I guess I'm better off with it because Rattata. We've at least got Raticate in hand. We have the full evolution line. This is much better off now. Drew into another professor's research. That's pretty much about the best first turn one we could see. I'm going to use this X speed though to try and KO with Kangaskhan here. Needs to hit one more. Okay. So we're at least safe for one more turn. This up. This is research. Ooh. Yeah, I was very ready to end turn there, but I am able to at least do enough damage here. Come on, I don't want to see any heads here. This one he needs one more. Okay! This is extremely bad. Because we are going to actually have to build up this Charmeleon one way or another. Go ahead and put Salanda down, I guess. Turn. Good. I'm comfortable with switching Charizard EX in when we get up to this next turn. So Lazzle's pretty okay since we do have something to switch into. That can do 80 damage versus the grass types. Okay, so we will live another turn here. Very, very good, because I think at this point we can kind of sweep. Go ahead and use this Pokeball, see what else we might find. Another Slandit. up. going to use our X-Speed here. Get out the Ponyta. Put it in Charizard. And go with a Slash. So about the next most dangerous Pokemon we could see here uh, that they would put in is Exeggutor EX. Interesting they put in Bulbasaur. I guess it's just because I know that anything including Venusaur EX is at the risk of getting KO'd. Okay. I, yeah, I don't actually see how they win this because they would be doing... Oh, it's still not working all the time. So they would only be able to do 100 and they would heal 30. Granted, the 30 probably... They probably at that point wouldn't have taken any damage and this, at most, does 80. So just a Crimson Storm will definitely be able to knock them down a peg. I'm not going to use that now. If I did, then I would be absolutely throwing. <laughs> But I don't see us being in any danger here. Nope. Executor EX would not be able to KO us even with the heads. Ah, uh, we were just one turn short, I think, of that 12. The 12 turns. Um, I don't think that there was anything else we needed to do for missions, but I'm just going to go ahead and use up the rest of my hand. Put one on this Lazzle. Crimson Storm. That'll do it. Had a hard fought match the first time, but actually managed to get our big hitter. 
Things went much smoother, ended up getting the player EXP and our rewards. And now we have Charizard and Moltres EX that we'd have to fight against next. But that's already three battles for the day, so I will go ahead and try and wrap things up here. Doesn't look like there's really anything else for us to do. I thank you guys once again for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Uh, just be on the lookout for the next video as we're still just pretty much going through the battle mode and in trying to get as many cards as we can to, to build some more varied decks. We're really close, really, really close on the grass one. I think we can make at least a competent one. But um, unfortunately, we are still missing a couple of key cards, mainly Execute. Somehow I've not pulled a single Execute yet, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, and hopefully down the line, when we get some more of that material, I might be able to trade in for one. Uh, I could trade in for one now, but again, don't see the reason in doing that yet, especially if there are cards I particularly want, like Guard of Wars, Ralts, and things like that. But in any case, hopefully y'all enjoyed once again. Have a fantastic night or day, wherever you may be, and I'll see y'all next time. Sleep!